Hi guys, we're going to have a look today at uh, adding and using a feedback activity for uh, Moodle 2.3. Um, feedback activity hasn't really changed in the last few releases of Moodle. Um, it's actually on a roadmap to be reviewed. Um, just click to another window. Um, to be replaced by Survey 2 module, um, taking the best from the current survey questionnaire and feedback activities. Um, so hopefully that will come out um, midway through uh, 2013. So back to my course. Um, the feedback you can use for collecting information from your students. So it could be some kind of evaluation um, of a task, of a course. Um, it's handy to think about it like a, a quiz that isn't graded. You can create questions. Um, and then have a look at some of the analysis um, to get opinions and student voice. So, same as anything in Moodle, um, turn editing on and add an activity or resource to pick it from the list. Now if you don't see it from the list, you'll need to um, have a, a chat with your site administrator. It comes in the core um, Moodle 2.3, 2.4, um, but your, uh, your site admin will need to enable it uh, at, the, at the site level. Now I'm going to take you through the settings on the one that I've set up already. So give your feedback a name, give it a description, and I've chosen to display that on my main course page. You can restrict the access by, uh, by choosing the open and close times of the feedback activity. You can have it anonymous or you can log the user's name if you want to. Um, show analysis page after submit. Well, I'll show you the analysis in a minute, but you can um, choose whether students will see that or not. Uh, email notifications, um, multiple or single submissions, uh, automated numbers is for um, the numbering the questions. Um, you can have a custom either URL or page that comes up after they've completed the feedback for you. Uh, the other settings here I'm not going to talk about. Um, those are advanced settings again that will need to be enabled. Um, the activity completion and uh, part of the restricting access there needs to be enabled by your, your site admin. Um, I'll, I'll talk about those in, a, uh, in another video. So once you're happy with your settings, save and display. Um, now I've already got some questions in there, but to um, edit or add questions, uh, you've got a bunch of different questions that you can just choose from there, multiple choice, short answer, long answer, numeric, etc, etc. Um, and all very simple and straightforward to set up, just follow through the, the settings. Uh, actually, just before, let me pop back to that one. Uh, the dependent item, once it comes up. There we go, just to point out a uh, dependence item there. Uh, so you can choose uh, if you. That's interesting. It looks like um, I've got white text on a white background there. Um, you can choose that a, a particular question uh, is dependent on another question. Um, so they can only answer one after a certain one has been answered. Right, let me pop back to my questions. So here's the questions that I've set up. You can change the, the position of them. Uh, if you need to go back in and edit any of them, you can or delete them. Um, after your students have uh, submitted them, you can see an analysis of their answers. Um, I quite like it. It's some nice easy graphs that you can see some percentages. Um, these are examples of the um, short answer text that I allowed. Um, 
and you can show individual uh, responses if you want. So I click on show responses there. Um, I can choose to delete entries. Um, teachers and administrators, managers, they've all got the capability to delete those entries. Um, if pupils have posted something inappropriate or um, if you want to massage your, uh, your statistics, your figures that come from it. Uh, that's, uh, no, I'm kidding, obviously you shouldn't do that. Um, you can export that analysis to Excel for further um, manipulation if you want. And you can also publish your feedback. Um, if you have a public, then anybody can use that template, your feedback template, across the site. So there we go. Um, that's uh, how to set up and uh, how to use feedback activity in Moodle 2.3. Thanks for listening.